Hi everyone, Maxine here with Tink and I Treasures. Welcome to my studio. Uh, today we're going to have a play with using 12 by 12 scrapbook paper. So get out your, your 12 by 12 scrapbook paper and join me. I have done a search of using 12 by 12 paper and all the different projects and stuff that people have come up with. And I think I have found one of the better ones as far as usefulness and being able to customize it to our journals. So, join me in uh, this project and let me know what, what you think. Um, so, you want to take a 12 by 12 measure. I've measured out here to 12 inches and I'm just taking off the... Um, band that's on it and uh, making sure this is 12 by 12 <laughs> okay then we want to cut off a strip that's two and a half inches okay and then this strip we want to cut at four inches four inches tall by the two and a half inches wide. So we end up with three of them. Okay. These we want to cut into a tag shape. And I just use a tag that has the shape of cut that that I like. There are so many of them that are different. Of course, you can use the other method as well. You know, where you cut a side and you use um, the scrap turn it over and you can use that as your template when cutting the other side. So either way works out well. Um, like I said, you can find a tag that you like the shape of and, and just use it. Or cut one side and then use the cuttings to cut the other side. So they're, they're somewhat even. <laughs> okay. Now our large sheet, we want to turn it so it's at the 12 inch, 12 inch um, measurement. And we want to bring it over here and cut it at 6. All right, so we have two pieces that are nine, nine and a half by six, about the size of a journal page. Okay, put that away. Now, we want to and, and this could be double-sided, it could be single-sided, it could also be single-sided. It doesn't have to be double-sided scrapbook paper at all. It can be single-sided for this project, which is always great, right? <laughs> okay, so we want to fold it over halfway. Now you can use your scoreboard and score at three inches if you want to. It depends on 
the weight of your paper. You know, if it's very, very thick, very heavy scrapbook paper, you might want to score it. This is um, pretty, pretty light paper uh, for being double-sided scrapbook. I'm surprised um, how light it is, but so, so we turned it over one way and fold in half or score in half, and then we took it and folded it the other way and either either fold or score halfway okay so so then we fold it the long ways right and I am going to ink up oops once you get that all folded then you want to put it all together and just Teach it where you want it to fold. Put it all down. So this is what we're looking at. Okay. And I am going to ink it up. I have the uh, Tim Holtz Distress Ink. And I have Hickory Smoke, which I don't hardly ever use, but I thought, well, with this black and white paper, that grayish hickory smoke should go really well. So I was happy to finally be able to use the hickory smoke because, yeah, I don't use it very often. So we're going to ink this all up. Basically, I'm inking at this point so I can better show you where we want to make a cut, okay? All right, so this is what we have now. This, where this middle fold is, we want to make a cut. So open it up. All right. So, and you, you can experiment with this. So from this fold line where I've inked it up, so hopefully you can see that really well, we want to make a cut about an eighth of an inch from that fold line. Okay. Now, like I said, I think this is an eighth. Maybe this is a sixteenth that I'm cutting. <laughs> but you can totally experiment with that distance. Um, you can have more, or, or, you know, you can have more if you want. But um, this, so this is what we ended up with. Like that. So fold these two back, and you have this piece here, which we, we're just going to cut off. So that's what we have. And I'm going to, oops, at this point, we want to take our, um, you know, if you have a circle punch or this uh, oval type punch, just punch out your thumb holes on either side. These don't have to match up perfectly because you're, they're not going to be together, if that makes sense. So, and I want to ink this up. Okay. And that up. Okay. So this is what we have. And like I said, you know, the distance that you cut is going to what determines how much of this shows. 
So let's say you do have double-sided paper and you really like, you know, what's on this side. So you want a lot, you know, you want more of it to show. You, you could totally cut, you know, farther away and have more of this underside exposed if you want to. It's totally up to you and the paper you're working with. So there we go. That's that one. Just a little bit of inking there. There we go. Okay, now we want to do the same thing with this piece. So showing you a second time is built right into the project. Isn't that cool? So we want to fold it in half or score it, whichever you want. Okay, open it up, turn it, and fold it on the short side, or score it. Okay, then we want to bring both those sides together, and really show the paper, you know, this is how I want you to be. <laughs> train the paper as it were so then we've got this little piece now don't worry about anything here that might be that might need a little bit of trimming see how you know it's not quite I don't know how that happens either um, this one I don't think had that issue Oh, a little bit down here. But don't worry about that yet. Um, because now is not the time to take care of that. Okay, so fold it back out. And then fold it again on the long ways. I'm going to go ahead and ink. Hope everyone's having a great day. Uh, a wonderful week and that you're having time for yourself and uh, doing some crafting perhaps I love to sit in here in my studio and craft and listen to books that I download from the library and yeah that's just my little happy place so we have that all inked up. Okay, open it up and then cut a slit on either side of that, that middle fold. I tell you, the, of the whole project, this is my most challenging because you want to get a straight cut. If you're not straight, it's really going to show. <laughs> get both those flaps out of the way. Bring up this little guy and cut that off. Awesome. Yeah, this uh, smoke, what was it called? <laughs> Hickory smoke. Hickory smoke color is great to use on black and white type papers. Okay, so <laughs> I want to open it up. So this is what it looks like when it's all opened up. And I have this nice pink mat, so you can totally see. <laughs> and we want to do our little thumb notch. Now, you, if you don't have um, one of these circle punches, you could totally cut out um, a thumb hold. Or 
you know, you don't have to have one, really. You could use a template of like, you know, a quarter and lay that up against and kind of draw, draw a shaped cut. You can do all kinds of things. Okay, now at this point, if you have a sewing machine and you want to, you can sew around. So open this up. And what I'm going to do is sew around this edge, over here, up this side, across here, and up here. Okay? Um, if you don't have a sewing machine or you're, you don't want to use your sewing machine for paper, um, that's fine. You can actually glue. So you would want to glue it down this side and this side and over here down here and across across here okay but I'm going to sew mine so I will be right back okay so as you can see um, I like I like the looks of the sewing but like I said you don't have to sew um, you want to be careful when you're sewing um, if you're using a straight stitch you should be fine if you're using a zigzag stitch then you you want to get over to the edge as much as possible maybe using a smaller um, stitch uh, because if you don't, then um, these tags that we cut aren't going to fit in here. Of course, you can trim up these tags too. You know, that's no big deal, really. So if, if you did stitch too much and you lessened the space in here, um, just trim up your tags. That's all. Okay, so there we are. Now you're saying, okay, good. Now what? Now what, Maxine? What do we do with them now? <laughs> what are they anyway? Aha! All right, so. Now, these are not any that I would use in this journal, <laughs> just because, you know, the colors are kind of wrong. But, let's find a page. This journal is mostly done. It was my autumn journal that we made. I think we did a lot of this um, in a video, so you might want to check that out. I love how this... Um, cover turned out. It's kind of a patchwork of fabrics and I picked colors and stuff that, you know, are autumn. So, anyway. Let's see if we can find a page that doesn't have anything. Here we go. So, what we do with these is go over the top right and then we have a tag that will go in here yeah I need to I need to back these for one thing and uh, maybe trim them down just a little bit yeah I totally need to back it because like I said for double-sided scrapbook paper, this is pretty flimsy stuff. But anyway, so um, you put it on the top like this. And then you want to glue it down across the bottom. And then you have a, a belly band type 
So you have a belly band here and a pocket here. And on the other side, you could do the exact same thing and glue it across here for a belly band, or you can glue it here and here for a little side pocket, okay? And this other one, like I said, they're both the same, so they're interchangeable. You can do, you know, anything. But this, this one, you can put it going this way. Isn't that fun? So it wraps around a page like that. Again, you want to glue it along here and along here and have it as a pocket. But we also have this side one. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I need to, I need to back that uh, and maybe trim it a little bit. But you have a side one here and um, a pocket for your tag. And you can decorate your tag and have, you know, something coming off of here. Uh, maybe you want to use like a... Um, one of those ball pins and put some danglies on there. Um, that would be fun. So again, over on this side, you want to glue it here and glue it across the bottom. And then you have your pocket and your little side. So isn't that fun? I think, I think of, of all the projects I've seen using a 12 by 12 sheet, I think this is uh, the most usable, right? And easy, quick, you can sew or not sew, right? Um, you can have double-sided or single-sided paper. It's not gonna matter with, with this project. And you end up with uh, a piece that you can either put over the top or hmm, over the, si the side of your pay paper, like this. Or you can have two of them on a page going like this. That would be pretty too. And decorate it all up according to your your journal. So yeah, that would be fun. Like I said, this black and white isn't going really well with this autumn journal, but you get the idea, right? <laughs> so anyway, um, yeah. I think I think this is the most useful of using up 12 by 12 that I've ever seen and the most versatile, right? A lot of projects, you know, you have to have double-sided. Um, but with this one, you don't. Anyway, um, yeah, I hope you liked our little project here. Um, let me know what you think. Uh, it is totally not my idea. <laughs> Don't, okay. Oh, and I, I forgot to tell you. Once you have so, so, sewn it, if that's what you're going to do, that is when you want to trim off any, any little bits that might not be lining up perfectly. Okay, once you get the sewing done or gluing whichever way you go, that's when you want to trim up any mismatched edges because sewing does make a difference. It does change it. Um, it shifts the paper ever so slightly. So you don't want to do any trimming until you get to this, this stage. Okay. 
anyway, so yeah, and then, you know, you've got tags to decorate and the fronts of these to decorate if you're going to. Depends on the paper you use, too, you know, it might be, it might be perfect the way it is, you know, it doesn't need to be decorated. So, anyway, um, I hope you like this little project in using up what we have and uh, being able to use any kind of 12 by 12 paper. So until the next time, thank you for joining me. Everyone have a great rest of your week and um, take care of you. Love each other and please join me next time. Thanks. Bye.